Some of us know life can be challenging, and sometimes life can take a really bad turn for veterans who are trying to adjust to life after service to their country while dealing with drug or alcohol addiction. In Genesee County, a judge and her team are trying to steer them in the right direction, and that effort is highlighted in this week's Unsung Heroes. I have PTSD. Um, I'm a combat veteran. I did a serve in, um, one short in Afghanistan. I came, after I got out of the military, I thought I was fine. I wasn't. I had PTSD, really bad, anxiety disorder, depression, and I didn't know what to do with it. So I started self-medicating. Combat veteran and now family man and business owner Andrew Tennant doesn't hold back when describing his struggles, which he says started a long time ago. He says he was an alcoholic who got into trouble and thought it was the end of the world. And it could have been. Most of the time when you have to go to court, it's for something pretty serious. But there's one courtroom in session here at the Genesee County Courthouse where the focus is on healing. I wish that more knew about this program because it really helps you focus on yourself, yourself as a veteran, and what really is important which is your self-care. Chief probate judge Jenny Barkey is the one who, with the help of a team of professionals at the Genesee County Veterans Treatment Court, facilitates the recovery process. It's a program for vets, and I don't care if they're from Vietnam or they got out yesterday, okay, who, because of the emotional injuries they've suffered, they get themselves in trouble. The 18-month-long program was started in December 2012. 125 out of nearly 200 veterans have been approved to go through it, and 76 have graduated. Every step veterans take forward or back is documented and discussed in Judge Barkey's courtroom. She says she's tough but fair, and there's no tolerance for drugs or alcohol. We get them on their feet. Uh, housing, jobs, whatever involved in that area. But the most important component is treatment. If they graduate from the program, veterans can get criminal charges reduced or dismissed. The veterans have mentors, therapists, and others who, so they can figure out a way to handle their addiction and deal with their PTSD so it doesn't lead to a worse situation. 22 veterans a day commit suicide. 22 a day. Andrew has found a way to stay strong through his pain and maintain his commitment to getting better. He did something the vast, vast majority don't do. He did not mess up at all. Andrew graduated from Veterans Treatment Court in June and says it felt like a weight had been lifted off his shoulders. He says Judge Barkey was stern but fair and didn't allow a lot of room for mistakes which kept him focused. I, I'm delighted to be in a position to put our veterans in a position um, to deal with their issues. Andrew's laser focus now is his family, business, and staying healthy, something he never could have done while addicted to alcohol. But he knows his work has only just begun. You have to be there. You have to show up for yourself because if you don't, if you show up for somebody else, this isn't going to work. Veterans Treatment Court came together after a tragic incident. Wayne, a Michigan State grad and the son of Judge Barkey's then assistant, served his country in the Army. He took his own life after suffering the debilitating effects of PTSD. Wayne's mother encouraged Judge Barkey to start the court, and it has helped the family heal. The judge says local Department of Veterans Affairs agencies refer veterans to the program. We've attached a link inside this story at midmichigannow.com so you can learn more. And we want to know about more of the remarkable people who are giving back to their mid-Michigan communities. So please tell us about those unsung heroes. Send me an email to sdaskalakis at sbgtv.com.